Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I want to share three powerful lessons about leadership and innovation. Okay, so this output is not from video three. In fact, we have a new version of the text to video model from Alibaba, which can now natively generate audio. So this is the second model after video three, which has this capability. Watch this. Do you know one 2.5 preview? Yes, I come from the model. And I'm going to say that this is actually a really, really good model. It synchronized the audios almost perfectly, especially when it comes to human characters. Here is another example. Yeah, I know some tricks. Now, the good thing is that compared to VO3, it can generate up to 10 seconds videos. Also, you can have an image to video and it's capable of generating videos at 1080p. Now for speech synchronization, you will probably see some issues if you are animating characters, uh, but overall the audio effects are very relevant to the scene. So watch this. Go on, get off my property. No visitors today or any day. Okay, so overall, I think it's a pretty good, although there might be like some synchronization issues, but I have seen some other examples where the synchronization even for non-human characters is pretty accurate. So for example, watch this. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. We use yeah, pretty incredible stuff, especially given that VO3 was released during I.O. just a few months ago. And now the one team is able to kind of replicate the same results and same quality. And it can do very complex scenes. So, for example, here's another one. As you can see, this gives you the ability to have very complex camera movements, and especially that 10 second duration helps a lot. Now, I have seen some examples from people generating longer than 10 second videos. So here is one from DStudio project. This specific scene is a little graphic. Okay, you can see there is a small glitch and that's probably coming from stitching two videos together. The consistency is pretty amazing. And especially like if you look here, the quality of effects is pretty incredible as well. So if you want to test the model, you can provide a reference image along with text prompt and then it will animate it. Or you can just provide a direct text prompt that is going to generate a video based on that. So here are a few other examples, and then we're going to look at some of the technical details. And it's pretty incredible that you can not only generate sounds, but those are extremely relevant to the scene, especially like in this UFO scene, you can actually see the audio effects that changes based on the elevation of the UFO. Okay, so this one is especially kind of crazy because you can see that it was able to generate a scene for a video game. And then you can actually hear the subject when the subject is firing, he is saying die, die, right? Also, it added the effects along with the ammo and it actually changes, which is pretty incredible. Now, this one especially is a lot of fun and kind of shows the world understanding of this video model. And that's why you need the upgrade pack. Especially when it introduces the cat and the cat's sound, it seems to be at a perfect moment. 
Now, the model is already available on file if you want to test it out. They also have some examples which will help you get started. But we don't know whether Alibaba is going to actually open source this specific model. They have open sourced the previous versions, but here is the official release. So they are launching one 2.5 preview. And then they say that it says to reshape the future of visual generation with a new architecture and powerful features. Those include native multimodality, deep alignment, and then this adopts a new unified framework for both understanding and generation, flexibly supporting the input and output of text, image, video, and audio. And that's kind of what we have seen that the model is able to not only generate correct videos, but also the corresponding sound effects as well. And the text generation also seems to be pretty accurate. Now, apart from this specific release, the Alibaba team has been extremely busy. Okay, so a few days ago, they also released one animate, which basically gives you the ability to animate a specific image based on a driving video. So for example, let's have a look at this. This is the original video, and this is the generated video. Rick Sorkin, is there a reason why I should let you in? Look, I, I'm just trying to ditch the cops, okay? I, I don't really care if you let me in or not. Mr. Spectre will be right with you. What? Can I get you anything? A coffee or a bottle of water? So this is pretty incredible, right? The, the movements are exactly as the driving video. And I was actually pretty happy about that, but now we have this new model which can also generate audio, which is kind of crazy. Here are some other examples from people. Uh, I'm going to put links to all of these videos in the video description. And you can see that this is the original input and the movements that are being generated are really incredible and very close to the original input. Here are a few other examples. And in some cases, it's extremely hard to even figure out. Technology is kind of going in a very scary direction, especially now people will be able to generate these deep fakes. The one 2.2 animate model is open source. People have built custom workflows, especially there's a comfy UI workflow that is available. You can use it to animate your images based on an input video. And I think especially with this new model, it will be able to generate even better videos. But it's kind of crazy where the technology is going. It's so easy to generate these AI videos. And in some cases, it's hard to distinguish between what's real and what's fake. That being said, this also opens up a whole bunch of possibilities that were not even imaginable before. So let me know what you think about this release and generative media in general. Now, to get started, you will need to sign up on one.video. And here you can use this new model. I'll probably create a more detailed video on this, and hopefully we're going to have soon information whether this model is going to be open weight or not. But I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.